days of my life, I want to be used, Lord, by you. Consume me, Lord, with the fire of your spirit. Consume me, Lord, and make me more like you. Break me and mend those broken pieces of my life. I want to be used, Lord, by you. One more time. Consume me, Lord, with the fire of your spirit. Consume me, Lord, and make me more like you. Break me and mend those broken pieces of my life. I want to be used, Lord, by you. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? This morning we're going to ask God to consume us and break us and mold us and fashion us the way he wants us to fashion to go through this service today. Let us all pray. Lord, I thank you for your blessing. I thank you for your mercy you have bestowed upon us. Lord, I just want to thank you for your goodness toward us, oh God. We could have reminded because of your mercy and your love we are here today just to worship and to do your mother's name. There is no other one like you today, God. And so I place you in the highest place this morning. Lord, I give you honor and I give you glory and I give you praise. I pray today, God, you will just take full control. Lead and direct today's service. Let everything that done, done to the honor and glory of you this morning, dear God. Because, God, you are the great high priest. Oh, God, we give you honor. We give you glory. We give you praises, oh, God. Praises is due unto you, Lord Jesus. When we think of your goodness and your love, oh, God, you have handed down unto us, oh, God. What more but to praise you, Lord? What more but to honor you? What more but to glorify your name in all the earth, oh, God? Oh, God, let this be a prayer for us today, God, to worship you and worship in spirit and in truth, oh, God. The enemy may be raging today, God, but God, we pray you just have your own sweet way. Direct everything and let it done to the honor and glory of your name. We look to you this morning and we tell you thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. Shall we give God praise? Shall we give God some praise this morning? Shall we lift up his name this morning? He is worthy of all the praise. Oh, this morning we are gathered in our women's ministry service. I just want to welcome each and every one, those online. I just want to welcome each and every one this morning at our midday service, women's ministry service. We're going to lift up Jesus today. We're going to place him in the highest place for his grace. He's worthy of our praise and honor. So, brethren, let us praise him today. Let us worship him in spirit and in truth. Let us lay aside all the weight and the sin be so easily beset us. And let us run this race with patience this day, oh God, I pray. Lord, I am Veronica Blair, and I will be your moderator for the day. And without any further ado, I will just call on the praise and worship team to come and worship you in spirit and in truth. Amen. We're going to be singing, He Touched Me. Oh, He Touched Me. And oh, the joy that floods our soul. He touched me. Oh, he touched me, and oh, the joy that floods my soul. So 
something happened and now I know he touched me and me
see God brethren let us stand we're going to praise him we're going to give him some praise before we're going to praise him we're going to lift him up this morning but we want to see his face stand brethren let us give God some praise we're going to give him some hallelujah shout we're going to give some hallelujah shout in the place this morning oh God let us praise him in our own way this morning brethren hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy of praise. You are worthy of honor. You are glorious. You are Jehovah, Jerry, you are Messiah. You are the King of all kings. He's the Lord of all lords. The conquering line of the tribe of Judah. Oh, glory to God. We thank you, Jesus, this morning. You wake up us, you clothe us in our right mind. Oh, God, we can be the house of God to praise. Let us worship him, man. Worship him this morning, man. Oh God, it seems as if we don't have any light this morning. Oh God, we can't do without him. Many people doubt him, but we can't do without him. That's the reason why we are in church today. To praise him and to lift him up. Place him in the highest place. He deserves the glory. Oh God, he deserves the glory. Sometimes we are at home, especially we women, we caught up into so many things. We can find some time to praise him and to worship him the way we want to worship him. Let us worship him today, man. Hallelujah. Let us worship him. He's worthy of our praise. Thanks be to God. This morning, our lesson will be taken from John 12. And from Revelation 12, we're going to read from verses 1 to the end. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You sought me when I wasn't thinking of you, Jesus. So I have to praise you. You have done so many things to me, so I have to praise you. You have rescued me from the pit of hell, Jesus. If I just Walk the way you want me to walk. So I have to praise you, Jesus. I don't know about anybody else, but I have to praise him for his many blessings towards me. To find it, brethren, let us, we're going to read. I'm going to read while you listen. And it read down. Here appear a great wonders in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon on the earth seed, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she had been with child, cried Chazel in birth, and pin to deliver, and there appear another wonder in heaven, and behold a great red dragon having seven heads and ten arms and seven crowns upon his head, and he stale you the, the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth, and the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man child. Who was, a, who, to, who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up in, unto God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she had a place prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand and two hundred and three score. And there was war in heaven. Michael and the angel fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought against his angel. And prevailed not, neither was their place founded anymore in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, 
that old serpent called the devil and Satan deceived the whole world. He was cast out to the earth, into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For accusers of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto, and they loved not their lives unto the, the death. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, of the sea, for the devil is come down upon unto you, having great wrath, because he knew it not, he had but a short time. And when the dragon saw that he was cast into the, unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which, fought, which brought forth the man-child. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness, into the earth place, where she is nourished for a time and times and a half time from the face of the serpent. And the serpent cast out his mouth, water as flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. And the earth ate the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed which kept his commandment of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ. Here in the portion of God, Holy Word, we honor it by saying thanks be to God. This morning, brethren, there's a fight, especially between women, with this devil. But brethren and friends, let us all to God and change in hand. Let us be steadfast and unmovable. Let us put on the blessed plate of righteousness that we sin not against our God, especially in these trying times, brethren. Let us fight the good old fight. Let's keep focus and look towards the hills from when she comes to our help. For the serpent is against us. The old dragon, the old devil, is fighting to conquer our soul. But if we steadfast and keep the faith, we will reap what we sow in Jesus' name. At this time, we're going to turn our banner in to song number 52. As I travel through this pilgrim, there is a friend who walks with me. Leads me safely through the sea, and it is the Christ of Calvary. This would be my prayer, dear Lord, each day to help me do the best I can. For I need the light to guide me day and night. Blessed Jesus, hold my hand. Blessed Jesus.
hold my hand the third standard said brethren when i wander through the valley dim towards the setting of the sun lead me safely to the la land of rest if i a crown of life of one i have put my faith in thee dear lord that i may reach the golden strand there's no other friend i have and i can depend on but blessed jesus hold my hand let us ask god to hold our hand at this time, I'm going to ask the men to pray for the woman. I'm going to ask Dick and I to come and start off this prayer. Blessed Jesus, hold my hand. Yes, I need thee every hour. Through this land, this pilgrim land. By thy saving power, hear my plea, my feeble plea, Lord, dear 
ลอดลูกเจ้านอนนี้Hallelujah! Let's say Jesus, hold my hand and hold our hands, Lord Jesus. This morning, Lord, we thank you again that you are in your presence. Jesus, the word declared this morning that you will not leave us. Oh God, to the hands of the enemy. For we are here this morning to lift you up. And to glorify Your exalted name, Father, here we are this morning. Your servant is here in Your presence, O oh God. O oh God, oh, this is our woman ministry service this morning, O oh God, on behalf of our prayer f a m i l s r v a n t O God. O oh God, I pray that Your will be done this morning, O oh God, as we have to. Heavenly Father, You who created heaven and earth, are You not God this morning, Lord? Hear our cry, Lord, as we plead unto you this morning, O oh God. Father, we ask, O oh God, that you may forgive us this day, as we have trespassed of God and transgressed against you, Lord. We pray and ask, O oh God, for your forgiveness this morning, O oh God. We ask, O oh Almighty God, as we seek to serve you and to find you more of you, Lord Jesus, even though you are not far from us, O oh God. Help us, Lord Jesus. As we look towards heaven, Lord Jesus, we look to the hills from whence cometh our help this morning, O oh God, knowing that You are God and God alone. Thou art deliver this morning, O oh God, O oh God, the one who, O oh God, has delivered us, O oh God, from our sins, O oh God. You have sent Your beloved Son this morning, O oh God, Lord Jesus, not to condemn, Lord Jesus, but to save us, O oh God, from our sins and our t r e s p a s s e s this morning. God. The p a r e n t the Father, that may strengthen this woman, O oh God, who is in our congregation, and who will serve You, Lord Jesus, day and night, O oh God. The p a r e n t the Father, that may keep them, Lord, Lord Jesus, guide them, O oh God, as they go along life journey, Lord Jesus. We know that this road is rough, Lord Jesus, but we thank You that You have someone who will deliver us and who will keep us, O oh God. Help us, God, as we hold fast Your hands, O oh God. Lord Jesus, lead us, O oh, Heavenly Father, and guide us and protect us. Lord Jesus, we praise You this morning. We glorify Your exalted name. We lift You up and magnify You, Lord Jesus. O oh God, we know, O oh God, that You will never leave us in Shiloh, O oh God. O oh God, and let us serve and o oh God, reap corruption, O oh God. But Lord Jesus Christ, in Your presence, Lord Jesus Christ, You will punish us all this morning. Not Your right hand, Your pleasures forevermore. Bless the service today, O oh God. Have Your own way. Lead us and direct us, O oh God, as we humble ourselves before You. In Your holy precious name, we ask of You this blessing, Lord, and what we have failed to ask of You, Lord, we pray, with the Father, that You will be so hearted and to us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise God? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! At this time, the PR will be coming to us with the welcome and the announcement. Good morning, everyone. My name is Stacy Ann Gordon, and I take great pleasure in welcoming our dear pastor and his two sons. A big warm welcome to our host church, and a big round of applause to our visiting friends. <laughs> to our virtual family, thanks for your support. By way of announcement, industry camp meeting begins. Tonight and our pastor will be preaching tonight and tomorrow. And the Paisley firstborn of the Living God will have their rally also this evening, and they ask for our support. Please, we are asking persons to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I believe that our YouTube channel needs to be. Increased 
we can share, like, and subscribe. Each and every time you watch a video and you like it, you can press like. Share the videos with your friends and ask them to subscribe. We need to increase on our YouTube channel. I know and over to the moderator in care of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Stacy. At this time, I'm going to ask the, the tithes and offering to be collected. I'm going to ask Sister Mary Garden if you could, could come and bless. Pronounce God blessing on the offering for us. As which I'm going to ask Sister Bev to collect it for me. Let us pray. Most righteous and eternal Father and God, we thank you again for another Sunday morning. Oh God, we pray, dear God, that you will guide us and protect us, oh God. Lord, we pray, dear God, that we will put up our cups this morning, Lord Jesus. Lord, we pray, dear God, that we will come against principalities and powers, against the rulers of darkness in high places. Lord, your people come in your house, dear God, to worship dear god we declare glory honor and power oh god i pray dear god that as we're about to collect the tithes and offering oh god lord you will bless lord you will stretch oh god i pray you may bless the hands of your people oh father god i pray dear god that you will help them dear god that you will supply their needs daily father god the more we give to you dear god the more you have in store for us oh god and so, Lord Jesus, we just want to worship you and praise you and exalt your name this morning. Oh, God, as we tell you thanks, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. The windows of heaven are open, and the blessings are flowing today. There is joy, joy, joy in my heart since Jesus did everything right. I gave him my whole heart garment. He gave. The windows of heaven are open. The windows of heaven are open. And the blessings are flowing today. There is joy, joy, joy in my heart since Jesus made everything right. I
Caught up to meet him in the hair. At this time, you know, during the week, in the night, we have some senior members who can't make it to church. I'm going to give you a chance to give us your testimony. Not those who can't come out, you know, are not coming. Those who can't, like our sister Mark, brother Mark. And we have a visiting friend who is our longtime veteran in the house. In the church here with us, Sister Williams, I don't know if you want to give us a testimony. I'll invite you people if you want to, you can come now. Praise God. Let us praise the Lord. Let us praise him another time. I'm happy and glad that I can be here another time to worship the Lord. You know, it's my desire to be true. It's my desire to continue trusting him in spite of the circumstances, in spite of the situation why I'm here. Um, I don't think you all know my brother has passed away. Uh, um, the funeral will be next week, Sunday. So I'm asking your prayer. Pray for me in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, saints. In spite of all my troubles, I trust the Lord with all my heart to carry me through. Because what I'm going through, I, I'm not even know to talk, but I talk to the Lord and He answers in my prayer. And I give thanks because where I'm coming from, 
I can't tell you, but I'm, I'm, God knows my heart. And he will help me through. So I leave everything in his hands. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But I'm glad you want to. Let us praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I am so glad that he caught me one day from the room to the hospital. And now I can say I am rejoicing in the Lord. In Jesus' precious name. Praise to God. At this time, we'll have a group song from the choir. Please come. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? There are so many times we are in trouble, bandage. Sometimes the devil take us to a low, low down. But in the midst, God will fix it for you. Hallelujah. I know the Lord will take care of me. I know the Lord will fix it for me. I know the Lord will fix it for me. I know the Lord will fix it for me. Yes, He will. I know the Lord will fix it for me. If I hold to his hand and leave by his command, I know the Lord will fix it for me. When I was in trouble, I prayed both night and day. I kept the faith, I kept on believing, the Lord will make a way. Oh, if I hold to his hand and be by his command, I know the Lord will be for me. I know the Lord will be for me, yes, He will. I know the Lord will be for me. 
fix it for me. He will fix it for you too. If you hold to his hand and live by his command. 
At this time, I'm going to turn over to pastor in care of the Holy Ghost. But before I turn over to him, we are going to stand. And I'm going to ask Brother Vance to come and pray for him before he take the podium. Asking God's strength on him. He will be leaving us tonight, going to industry. So I just want to ask him to just cover him under his blood and give him extra strength that he can do the work for his team. When we, when we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory, shut in our way while we do his good will, he abide with us. What kind loving holy word is Father, you are God, this morning we come again to you in the name of your son Jesus Christ as I do come to pray for our pastors at this time I commit him in thine hand I ask you to cover him just now dear Jesus with your blood. Oh God, for we have seen that the devil is around like a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. So I pray Lord that you just touch him and speak to him my God. And to your people, my God, and help us, my God, to take heed to the word and help us to live by your word, knowing that it is appointed unto man once to die and after death the judgment. So help us that we will not waste our time with our lifestyle now with our living, but help us to live our life for you, Lord, and serve you, Lord, in spirit and in truth, that whether we dead our life, we shall depart away with you. So I continue again. Commit your men servant in him and bless him, cover him, cover him with your blood. That when he speak the word, the devil can't do no harm. For the devil is here to seek him, to kill and to destroy your people. But I know that there is no weapon that form against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rise against us in judgment, they shall condemn. So I leave him in your, leave him in your hand and say that in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. At this time, without any further ado, I just turn over the rest of the service to our pastor in care of the blessed Holy Ghost. Thank you, Sister Blair. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. You have a praise this morning. Do you have a praise this morning? Give the Lord glory and honor and praise. Amen. Thank the Lord again for this privilege that I can come in his house to worship him. Amen. Praise the Lord. I just want to greet our moderator of the women's ministry team, Sister Blair. Amen. The praise and worship team. My brothers and sisters, I greet all of you well in the wonderful, precious name of Jesus. Those who are in line with us. He greet you well also. Amen. Two big things. I'm just asking uh, when we are through, I'm just asking everyone to give us 10, 15 minutes. We do have some presentation to be made to our children. Amen. We're going back to school, those who are going to university colleges and those who are going into the high school. So please don't leave. Amen. Please don't leave. The younger children, they are really be taken care of upstairs. Amen. Yeah. Public relations I already tell you that I'll be in industry Gisbro. Don't buy Gisbro. They'll be there tonight and tomorrow night. Remember, my brothers and sisters, that we are in different zones or district. Amen? So, Lima, I'm expecting you to be there to give your support to the industry church. Amen? Our meeting is coming up in September, early. And also, Paisley, church in Paisley will be having a rally this evening, and I am going to get ask some persons to go over and to render an item, amen, but we need financial backing also, amen, praise the Lord, amen, 
Are you with me? So we're going to cover those today. But it's good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. What is happening today is very critical for the body of Christ. I notice in Hawaii that a whole island is burnt down. No one can tell where the fire began. Amen. Flood in Bangladesh and other countries, landslide, killing and destroying folks. But the Bible tells us that in the end, perilous time will come. Men shall be lovers of their own selves. Maybe I'm not right, but today, every return, even you're truly here and others with a phone, an iPhone, and it will, it's all about us. Persons is all about us. Men shall be lovers of them own selves. We don't love anybody, but we love ourselves. And amen. And Jesus tell us that in these last days, earthquake will be in diverse places, famine, pestilence, uh, and all of these things. And he said to us as the body of Christ, we should look up because our redemption draw nigh. And so as believers, I believe that never a time we need to draw closer to the Almighty God, it is now. Amen, somebody. Struggles and problems will not stop. Amen? But we need to get closer to our God. Amen, somebody. I want to speak to us a little today from the Old Testament. I'm going to look Ezekiel 37, verse 7 to 9. Ezekiel 37, 7 to 9. So I prophesy as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. And the old a shaking. And bones came together, bones to his bones. I will jump. I'll go to nine. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, say to the wind, Thus said the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, breathe upon these slain that they may live. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you again for this privilege. Oh God, I thank you for your hope. I pray even this moment as we come that your Holy Spirit will make alive, that your Holy Spirit may indwell us afresh. Hallelujah. Lord, as we give you all the glory and all the honor and the praise, thank you for what you have done before. And for what you'll be doing in our hearts and our lives. In Jesus' name, pray. I want to speak to us a little on a topic today. Wake up call. A wake up call. Turn to your neighbor and say, it is a wake up call. It is a wake up call. Where is my musician? We want to do this song. Then I get into the word. You know, it's spirit of the living God. Fall afresh and me, you know it. Come with me. <clears throat> spirit of the living God. Fall Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Move. 
Praise the Lord. Somebody shout, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God. Wake up. It's something you say to tell someone to listen or to become involved. When they have not been listening or paying attention. I'm not talking about the physical sleep when we go to bed. It means somebody. Sometimes at times we are not listening, we are not involved. From the text I read, you realize that. The people of God was not listening to God. They were not involved. Amen, somebody. They were not looking to God. But God is waking us up in this season. Amen, somebody. We got to become conscious in this season that God want us to become conscious after we come out of our sleep. There are some persons in the natural sleep when you wake them up, they become confused and they don't know where they are. Hallelujah. Sometimes they are searching for something they don't desire because they are not Conscious as yet, uh, they are still uh, in their sleep. Uh, amen. Somebody, Ezekiel, he was one of the Hebrew prophet. Where during the time of the Babylonian exile, Hallelujah, he was. One who was taken as a young man to Babylon as a slave. But in spite of where you are, God is there. I want somebody to understand that wherever you are, God is there. Hallelujah. From the text I have read, the people of God, they believe and feel that they are far from God. How many persons here today can testify? Sometimes, hallelujah, you feel like God is far from you. Give me a few minutes. Uh, sometimes you feel like God is not with you. Uh, amen, somebody. That's how they felt. We can go down to chapter, to verse 11. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bounds are the whole house of Israel. My brothers and sisters, I'm talking in the same text. I've jumped to verse 11 quickly. That the people say, the whole, whole of Israel, the all they say, our bones are dry. Amen, somebody. They feel like everything was gone. God was not with them. God has a 
abandon them. Uh, can I tell you something? Uh, that's what they say. Uh, that our bones are dry uh, and our hope is lost. Uh, he are cut off from our power. Uh, amen, somebody. They say they feel and they know that God has left them uh, and they are cut off uh, from their power. Uh, you see, when you feel like God has forsaken you and you feel like you are being cut off, uh, amen, somebody. Uh, you see, we find at times uh, in the world we are living in today, uh, there are folks are saying, Where is God uh, in my problem? Uh, where is God when I'm going? through my situation. God has left me on my own. I come to tell you, there is hope in God. God is always with you in your trials, in your pain, in your worry. Amen. Somebody, God is always with you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So behold, uh, hello, somebody have no hope. We, we are cut off from God. Uh, hallelujah. This Clearly express such an hopelessness uh, they were having. Uh, this clearly express uh, there was an hopelessness. Uh, amen, somebody. Uh, I find that just uh, in last week I was listening uh, to the news. Uh, when people become hopeless, uh, they do hopeless things. Uh, over 50 thousand Americans uh, commit suicide uh, in 2022. 26% I heard Jamaicans commit suicide in Jamaica because of hopelessness. Uh, are you with me, somebody? Somebody preach with me. Uh, hopeless. This clearly suggests uh, that they were hopeless. Uh, they made somebody in a pitiful condition when people uh, become hopeless. Uh, they will do desperate things, uh, but we serve a God, uh, hallelujah, we stand by us, uh, hallelujah, we serve a God, uh, who's always with us, uh, we serve a God, uh, who will strengthen us, uh, we serve a God, uh, can take us out uh, of our struggles, uh, we serve a God, uh, who can take us out uh, of our problem, uh, anybody understand, uh, what I'm shouting, shout yes, uh, shout yes, uh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have experts. Hallelujah. Even at times, my brothers and sisters, even you have expressed a season where you are feeling dry, uh, experience uh, a dry spell. Uh, anybody up here understand what I'm talking about uh, as believers? Uh, at times we experience uh, a dry spell. Uh, amen, church of the living God. Uh, sometimes when you experience uh, in your dry spell, uh, you don't feel like praise God. Uh, amen, somebody. Uh, sometimes you're experiencing uh, your dry spell. Uh, you don't feel like studying the word. Uh, Oh, you don't hear me, somebody. Sometimes uh, when you experience it, uh, you try spell. Uh, you don't feel like pray uh, because you feel like God uh, has abandoned you. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, you got to understand uh, that even though you're feeling uh, such a try spell, uh, God is right here uh, beside you. Uh, God is cheering you on. Uh, oh, you don't hear me the church of the living God. Uh, even though you're experiencing that. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You got to understand. So he went on to say, uh, so God told him, he said, so I prophesy uh, as I was commanded uh, and as I prophesy uh, my brothers and sisters uh, when we listen to what God has to say, uh, then God will come true. Uh, he said and so uh, I was commanded to prophesy uh, and as I prophesy uh, there was a noise uh, as he opened his mouth uh, and speak uh, to say the Lord uh, there was a noise uh, Hear me, somebody here. He said, There was a noise. Uh, what are uh, the effect 
of the effects of nice uh, on the human. Uh, the most common uh, health problem it can cause uh, is a loss of hearing. Uh, hello, somebody. Uh, when we have too much load nice, uh, it can cause uh, lots of hearing, uh, miscommunication, uh, that you can't hear uh, what is happening around you. Uh, but can I preach up here uh, and tell somebody uh, that the prophesy uh, there was a noise, uh, but this noise uh, was not knife uh, the noise of the world uh, this was not a noise uh, that to confuse your mind uh, oh hallelujah uh, it was not a noise uh, to affect your hearing uh, it was a noise uh, to wake you up uh, so hallelujah uh, a noise to tell you uh, to come back uh, to God uh, to come back to praise uh, to come back to worship uh, hello somebody uh, to come back uh, to sanctification, uh, to come back uh, to holiness, uh, to come back uh, to righteousness. Uh, hello, church, uh, at the living God. Uh, somebody praise him. This noise cannot affect your hearing. It's the spirit of God. Tell your neighbor it's the spirit of God. Uh, while he prophesy uh, the second thing uh, behold a shaking uh, hello somebody uh, when he speak uh, something begin to happen uh, when he speak to the situation uh, something uh, begin to happen uh, at times we praise we make noise uh, and nothing happen uh, but when we hear uh, from God uh, and we open up our mouth uh, and we speak uh, don't say the Lord, uh, something must happen. Uh, tell your neighbor, oh neighbor, oh neighbor, uh, when you hear from God, uh, and come, oh, hallelujah, uh, something must happen. Uh, so something uh, must happen. Uh, hello. A shaking. Shaking to cause something to move. Hope. And down a chicken can cause you and I uh, to move uh, up and down uh, a chicken uh, will cause you to jump up uh, in church uh, and run. Uh, hello, somebody. Uh, a chicken uh, will cause you to move uh, under the influence uh, of the Holy Ghost. Uh, hear me, somebody. Uh, you don't hear me, church. Uh, I said a chicken uh, will cause you to move uh, under the influence. Uh, of the Holy Spirit, uh, God is calling us, uh, waking up the church uh, of the living God uh, to move uh, under the influence uh, of the Holy Ghost. Uh, somebody shout, uh, I'm going to move uh, under the influence uh, of the Holy Ghost. We need a shaking in this season. Uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, we need a shaking uh, in this season. Uh, you don't see what is happening around us. Uh, you don't see what is transpiring around us. Uh, darkness uh, is taking over. Uh, so we need the body of Christ. Uh, need a shaking. Uh, the body of Christ uh, needs to move uh, from one level. Uh, are you with me, somebody? Uh, hello, church, the living God. Uh, and when there was a shaking, can, uh, hallelujah. Uh, something big happened to happen. Uh, the bones came together. Uh, bones to their bones. Uh, it was not just a shaking. Uh, everything started to change. Uh, bones began uh, to move from one era. Uh, hello, somebody. Uh, bones, uh, dead bones. Hallelujah. Uh, dry bones. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Begin to move uh, from one place uh, to another. Hear me, somebody. Somebody, uh, when God begin to shake, uh, every dry thing, uh, every dead thing uh, must wake up. Uh, come on, somebody, uh, I say every dry thing uh, must uh, come alive. Uh, hallelujah. He was calling for Israel to be holy. 
a holy nation to separate uh, themselves uh, from the world uh, and be set apart uh, for God. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Can I tell you, my brothers and sisters, uh, that God is calling us uh, to separate ourselves uh, from the world uh, in this season. Uh, hello, church of the living God. Uh, the church and the world uh, cannot be the same. Uh, hello, so God was calling his people uh, to come back, uh, to wake up, uh, see where they are. Uh, he's telling us that we should wake up, uh, see where we are uh, in this season. Uh, hello, hello, son. Somebody here. Am I preaching up here? Uh, hallelujah. He was saying to them, uh, don't let your situation define your identity. Uh, look at your neighbor and your own neighbor. Uh, don't let your situation uh, define uh, your identity. Uh, you are a child of God. Uh, stand as a child of God. Uh, don't let what is happening to you uh, define you. Uh, hello, somebody. Uh, at times we allow our situation uh, to define us. Uh, but I'm standing on the promises of God. Uh, I am a child of God. Uh, I'm a child of a king. Uh, hello, somebody. Uh, I am a royal priesthood. Uh, I am a set apart generation uh, for the worship of God. Uh, let not your situation uh, define you. Uh, let not the devil tell you uh, that you are not a child of God. Uh, God is waking you up uh, to understand uh, that you are a royal priesthood. Uh, God is waking you up uh, that we understand uh, that you have called you uh, in this season. Hello, somebody. Hallelujah. Isaiah 52 and verse 2 said, Shake thyself. Hallelujah. Uh, from the dust. My brothers and sisters, uh, these bones were lying uh, in the dust for a long time. Uh, but the shaking uh, has transformed them. Uh, hallelujah. When a shaking occurs, uh, that means something is about to happen. Uh, Isaiah said, Rise and sit down, uh, O Jerusalem. Uh, loose thyself uh, from the dust. Uh, hello, somebody. Uh, the dust can captivate. Uh, our lives and our mind uh, the dust can blind our eyes uh, from see what God uh, has in store for us uh, the dust mighty God uh, can give us near sight uh, that we can see uh, in the spiritual realms uh, so the prophet said I said shake thyself uh, from the dust uh, arise uh, hear me somebody uh, arise my brothers and sisters uh, we gotta get up uh, and lose ourselves. Uh, hello, somebody. Uh, sometimes we can't praise God uh, because the dust is affecting us. Uh, hello, somebody. Uh, we gotta get up uh, and lose ourselves uh, and get a praise. Uh, shake yourself uh, and get a praise. Uh, some of us, uh, we can't even open our mouth uh, and shout hallelujah because our dust uh, is holding us down. Uh, Shake yourself, uh, lose yourself, uh, tell yourself depression. Uh, oh, you don't hear me. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Uh, lose yourself uh, from depression uh, and praise God. Uh, open your mouth uh, and shout. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Shake yourself. Lose yourself. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Uh, you see, we allow ourselves, uh, hallelujah, to lie in the dust uh, too long. Uh, hello. Uh, lose thyself from the pants uh, of thy neck. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Can I tell somebody? Uh, he said, oh, yeah. 
captive daughters of Zion, who captive sons of Zion, lose yourself, shake up yourself, because no dead man can praise God. But the Bible says that the dead cannot praise God. Do you know that when you're oppressed and depressed, oppression and depression, you don't have time to praise God. You can't find time to worship God. You find time to wallow in your problem. Oh, you don't hear me. They were wallow in their problem. But God is saying, lose up yourself and begin to praise in spite of my God, somebody praise him. Somebody praise him. Somebody praise him. To lose yourself. A valley filled with tried bones. Huh? A valley full with dry bones. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, if you have one, uh, everything down there, dead, 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 dead. Uh, pure dryness, no substance. Uh, but God is a God of the supernatural. Uh, tell your neighbor, God is a God uh, of the supernatural. Shout it, God is a God uh, of the supernatural. Uh, everything down there, dead and dry. Uh, my God, can I preach? Give me a few more minutes uh, to preach this word. Give me a few more minutes. Uh, everything down there, dry, dry, dry. Uh, somebody said dry, a folly, uh, full of dry bones. Uh, lacking flesh, uh, lacking flesh, uh, lacking sinews, uh, lacking breath, uh, lacking the spirit of God. Uh, but God says, uh, can these bones live? Uh, oh, you don't hear me, somebody. Uh, hello, child of the living God. Uh, it doesn't matter the Problem where you are, uh, if it's dry and dead, uh, a serve of God, uh, a supernatural God. Uh, anybody up here, uh, do you serve the same God? Uh, give him praise. Uh, open your mouth and give him praise. Uh, give him praise and glory. Went on to say, and when I be here. Behold, lo, sinews uh, and flesh uh, came upon them. Uh, hallelujah. When he begin to prophesy, uh, things begin to change. Uh, tell your neighbor, when I open my mouth uh, and speak, uh, things will begin to change. Uh, somebody testify. When I open my mouth uh, and begin to speak, uh, things. Uh, hear me, my brothers and sisters. Can I tell you something? All they were do, they were complaining. And said, God forsake them. God cut them off. But when Ezekiel jumped up and began to speak, the word, the prophetic word, the anointing, things begin to change. Hallelujah. There was a noise. Oh, hallelujah in the vision. There was a noise. There was a shake. Uh, are you with me somebody uh, and the bones, hallelujah uh, which are separate themselves, uh, hello church of living God, I said those bones which were separated uh, from one another, uh, can I talk to somebody, uh, there was some backslide that separated uh, from the church uh, there was some husbands uh, separated uh, from wives, uh, children separated uh, from parents, uh, who you don't hear me, uh, mother and father separated uh, from children, uh, but when he prophesied, uh, hallelujah, uh, things begin to happen uh, in the valley, somebody praise him, uh, hallelujah, uh, he said when I prophesy, uh, hallelujah, uh, sinews uh, came 
went back into those joints uh, and flesh uh, came upon those bones. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Are uh, you with me, somebody? Uh, and the skin began to cover them. Uh, my brothers and sisters, them above. Uh, but there was no breath in them. Uh, hello, somebody. Uh, it's by there was sinews. Uh, it's by that there was flesh. Uh, it's by that there was skin uh, upon them. Uh, sometimes we come to praise God. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, we have uh, sinews. Uh, we have flesh. Uh, and we have skin. Uh, but there is no breath uh, in our worship. Uh, there is no breath uh, in our praise. Uh, hello, somebody. Uh, when we praise, a uh, uh, still dead praise. Uh, hello, somebody. Uh, we need a breath. Uh, we need a spirit uh, of God. God. I have to preach later on. I didn't want to exert so much energy. Uh, hello, somebody. Uh, I've said to uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, we can come to church uh, and we can sit down uh, because sinews is in the joints, uh, allowing them to flex. Uh, we have fresh blood running through our bone, uh, skin cover we, uh, we lotion it, uh, we do everything to it. Uh, we come to church, uh, but there is no bread. Uh, tell your neighbor. Uh, we come, but there is no bread. Somebody praise him. We need a bread. And the Holy Spirit. To hold remote. And praise God. Church and the living God. If there is no bread. We can't get you worship. For the Bible says uh, that God is a spirit. Uh, and they that worship God uh, must worship God uh, in spirit uh, and in truth. Uh, if you do have a clear mind, uh, that means a dead body. Uh, can't praise God. Uh, if your mind come burn, uh, you can't praise God. Uh, oh God, oh God. Uh, can, I, can I just run along here? Uh, hello, somebody. Hallelujah. Behold, there was no bread. Uh, tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Tell somebody, say my neighbor, my neighbor, my neighbor, my neighbor, my neighbor. Things is about to take place. Uh, something good uh, is about to happen uh, in my valley. Uh, something good uh, is about to happen uh, in my valley. Uh, I feel like give up, uh, but something good uh, is about to happen uh, in my valley. Uh, everything in the valley, uh, there is no noise, uh, there is no prayers, uh, but I hear, I hear, I hear uh, a sound, uh, I hear, uh, I said I hear a sound, uh, I hear a sound, uh, I hear the breath, uh, I hear the spirit, uh, I hear something uh, from God, uh, there is coming uh, a great show. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the winds, prophesy son of man, hear me somebody, you see the authority to call forth and to speak to the winds, you and I have the same authority through the power of the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, I said, this was the say to the wind. Uh, hello, somebody. He said, say to the winds. Uh, somebody shout. He said, talk to the winds. Uh, Heinz, talk to the winds. Uh, talk to the winds, Sister Blair. Talk to the winds. Uh, talk to the winds. Uh, talk to the winds. Uh, wind. uh, I said, talk to the winds. Uh, open your mouth uh, and call the wind. Uh, and say, bread, uh, come forth in my body. Uh, life, uh, spirit of God, uh, make me alive again. Uh, somebody call uh, for the wind uh, somebody shout uh, spirit uh, of wind uh, hallelujah fall upon me fall upon me prophesy Tell them, but no more dead worship uh, because I'm coming alive. Uh, no more dead worship. No more dead worship. He said, Thus say the Lord God 
come from the four winds oh breath oh breath and breathe upon these that were slain that they may live hello somebody Paul in Corinthians 3 verse 16 said knowing not that y'all the temple of God and that the spirit of God is dwelling in you my brothers and sisters if the spirit of God dwells in you then you are a living soul you are not a dead soul so when you come to worship you don't need pastor to tell you to lift your hands and worship you don't need no praise team to tell you to praise God because you are the spirit of God and he dwells in you somebody praise him somebody glorify God for the spirit of God lives within you he walks with you and he talks with you somebody praise him Hello. The Spirit of God dwells within you. But if the Spirit of Him that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, He that raised up Jesus Christ from the dead, somebody shouted, It's the same Spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead. Also shall uh, quicken your mouth and bodies uh, by that spirit that dwells in you. Uh, tell somebody connection. Uh, say connection. Uh, say connection. Uh, somebody show connection. Uh, somebody show connection. Uh, don't come to the same one. Uh, come to his bone. Uh, it's a spirit of God uh, that dwells in you. Uh, shall connect you uh, with Jesus Christ. Uh, somebody pray him. Somebody say connection. I am connected to the same spirit which raised Jesus from the dead. Anybody up here understand what I'm talking about? Open your mouth and praise him. It's the same spirit. It's the same spirit. Shout, it's the same spirit. Come on. It's the same spirit. Hallelujah. It is a even breath that God breathed into the human. Huh? It meant somebody. You got to remember huh? that same as was Ezekiel saw, huh? the bodies came together with the flesh. Huh? And now, oh, hallelujah, the sinews and the skin. Huh? When God created man huh? in Genesis, huh? from the dust of the earth, huh? the body was just lying there. Huh? Cover with skin, uh, cover with flesh, uh, cover with sinews, uh, bone was on the inside, but there was no breath. Uh, they could not praise God. Uh, that body could not glorify God. Uh, I said, No, that body can't glorify God. Uh, so the Bible says uh, that God breathed uh, his breath, uh, and man becomes uh, a living soul. Uh, when he saved you, uh, you becomes a living soul uh, to praise God. Uh, to walk with God. Uh, somebody praise him. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, if you know that you become uh, a living soul, uh, praise God. Uh, somebody praise God. Uh, lift your hands and praise God. Hallelujah. It was a spirit. Hallelujah. Uh, but the same spirit, how do you prepare this? Oh, you don't hear me. It was the same spirit uh, that parted uh, the Red Sea. Uh, are you with me, somebody? It's not different spirit. Uh, it's the same spirit uh, in the valley. Uh, amen. Somebody bring the bones together. Uh, it's the same spirit uh, that parted uh, the Red Sea. Uh, amen. Somebody uh, and allow the people of God uh, to escape from uh, slavery. Uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, it's the same spirit of God uh, who has called you, uh, who has saved you, uh, who has sanctified you, uh, who has justified you, uh, who has filled you with his power. Uh, it is the same spirit. Somebody said the same spirit. Uh, it is the same spirit. 
empower the early church. Uh, amen. Somebody. I said it's the same spirit uh, which was in the valley. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, attending to uh, the dry bones uh, and waking them up. Uh, it's the same spirit uh, empower the disciples. Uh, it's the same spirit. Uh, it's still empowered powering uh, the church of the living God. Uh, somebody must understand. Uh, it is the same spirit uh, which is empowering us today. Uh, there is no difference uh, in the spirit of God uh, which was in the valley. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Uh, making those bones come alive. Uh, hallelujah. It was the same spirit uh, empowered uh, the disciples uh, to lay hand on the sick uh, and they recover. Uh, it's the same spirit uh, uh, allow people uh, to walk upon water. Uh, hear me, somebody. Uh, he's the same spirit uh, who has imposed today uh, to carry out the mandate uh, of Jesus Christ. Uh, hello, somebody. Somebody praise him. It's the same spirit on the day of Pentecost. It's the same spirit. I'm going to finish here. It's the same spirit and the day of Pentecost which the disciples heard. Hallelujah. They were troubled. They were worried. Hello, somebody. Jesus already gone to prepare a place for us. And he said, if you go, hallelujah, he will come again and receive us unto himself. So it's the same spirit, the same Jesus. Hallelujah. While they were waiting at Pentecost, and suddenly there came a song from heaven as a mighty rushing wind. Notice this, the wind. He told Ezekiel to call the four winds of the earth. Uh, he meant somebody to bring life uh, to the bones uh, when they come back to God. Uh, it's the same wind which was blowing uh, on the day of Pentecost. Uh, and the Bible said on a hallelujah, rushing mighty wind uh, and it filled all the house uh, where there were six my brothers and sisters, when the wind of God is blowing, people will come alive. Amen. Somebody. And the Bible said, while this wind was blowing, this was a different transformation from the folly experience. Amen. Somebody. Because God was calling them back to him. This was a different experience. Hallelujah. When this wind was blowing up in the castle, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And began to speak uh, with other tongues uh, as the spirit gave them utterance. Uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, this was a different experience. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, you see, when God uh, is doing something special, uh, amen, somebody, the wind of God will blow uh, through, hallelujah, your church, through your community, uh, through your, hallelujah, your towns, uh, and through your cities, uh, hallelujah. God is waking up the body of Christ. Uh, we find more time doing church work uh, than doing God's work. Uh, we emphasize on the work of ministry that what God is saying to us. Uh, amen. Somebody they were worried about the work uh, of ministry. Uh, but God was waking them up. Uh, hello somebody. God is waking up top here in Lima. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, oh, different level of worship. Uh, hallelujah. Different level uh, of serving. Uh, a different level of praise. Uh, we can't continue uh, at the same level. Uh, amen meant somebody uh, hallelujah uh, they were complaining and worrying about uh, what was happening uh, but all God was saying to them Ezekiel can these bones live can these bones live yes Lama we can move from that level of praise oh hallelujah when we wake up, some of us now are wake up, you know. Can I preach up a little bit? I'm coming down. Some of us don't want to wake up. I said, some of us don't want to wake up, you know. Uh, I can't kind of finish me. Sister Gardner says, some of us don't want to wake up. We want in a little, in a little hopelessness. 
And God has said, wake up, my man. Wake up, wake up, wake up. You pass there, so. Come on, you take your sorry yet. But you want to sit down at a little pit party. And brother Vance, not sorry for me. And you like a pity party, they say, Sir, we need to get up from this because God is calling us a wake up, wake up, wake up. Yo, move from that level, sister. Reed. Move from that level. Uh. When you come to church, uh, God already empower you. So wake up, wake up, wake up. Uh. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Wake up. Shout, wake up, wake up, wake up, deacon, wake up. The world is in trouble. Our community is in trouble. And we want our own little pity party. Yeah. Lie down in the valley. Yeah. Say, God, abandon we. Yeah. We have no hope. Yeah. They mentioned what God said. I'm waking you up. Yeah. He's calling you to come to him. Yeah. He wants to... God, my God, my God. Somebody praise him. I said he's bringing me out. Shout it. God wants to bring me out. God want to bring us out. Can, 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 I want to finish. Can I tell you something? The Bible says, Hallelujah. Ezekiah was sick uh, and to death. Uh, are you with me, somebody? Uh, I said, The Bible says, uh, Ezekiah was sick and to death. Uh, and God sent his prophet. Uh, I said, Go tell him, set your house uh, in order. Uh, Wow, 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 wow. Uh, so Ezekiel set the house uh, in order. Choose a successor for the kingdom. Uh, you don't know, hear me, somebody. Uh, but Ezekiel, the Bible says, uh, turn his face uh, to the wall uh, and begin to talk to God uh, and say, God, uh, I want you to remember me. Uh, hello, somebody. Uh, remember me, God. Uh, that is me. Uh, when the people was worshiping, Idol, uh, tear down uh, the idols, uh, tear down the groves. Uh, I love worship to come back into church. Uh, hello, somebody. Uh, oh, hallelujah. You hear me? God is calling us back to worship. Uh, no dead worship. God said to the prophet, Hear me. Walk back in. Turn back. You have tell him that he was going to die. Go back in. Give him this word. Tell him. That means God said. You're going here 15 more years. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. Somebody said glory to God. And he said to him. Well, uh, but not the same God just tell me. Say me going dead. Uh, and him come back. Come tell me. Say. Uh, I'm talking about some dry dead bones. Uh, it's the same God. Uh, who tell me. Say me going dead. Uh, Send back to tell me that me going to live again. Uh, somebody shout. I'm going to live again. Uh, somebody shout. Uh, I'm going to praise again. Uh, somebody praise God. Uh, and say I'm going to again. Uh, hello, somebody. My rod is dry. Uh, hello, there is no substance. Uh, but I'm going to put again. Uh, I am going to praise God again. Uh, somebody praise God. Uh, somebody praise him up here. That's a God we serve. He said, tell God to show me a sign. God, turn back the sun, back to the rising, the sundial. But hear me, my brothers and sisters, it's the same God I'm talking about. Talk to them, they're going to come alive again. I'm saying to somebody, come alive again. Come alive. Come alive. Wake up. Wake up. 
Wake up. Wake up. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Church of God. Wake up. I tell you, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Finding the season. Finding the season. I'm not talking about this body of Christ. We are sleeping. We are sleeping giants. Telling somebody, wake up. How many persons up here? Once when you come to church, you could speak in tongues. But you can't speak in tongues again. Wow. But when you come alive, things will change. Glory to God. Somebody praise him. Somebody praise him. Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Let Jesus. me lose myself and find it, Lord, in thee. May all self be slain, my friend. See only thee. Wake up. Though it cause me grief and pain, I will find my life again. If I lose myself and find it low in thee. Lord, can I tell you something before I pray? Any day you get up, any day you wake up and cannot feel the presence of God. Mr. Blair, any day you wake up and you can't feel the presence of God, a trouble. You hear me? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, any man in your wake up and your prayer can't feel God's presence and worries and trouble. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So I'm telling somebody, wake up. The 
going. I'm going to pray. Keep it going. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for that word. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for reminding us. Hallelujah. That it's time for us to wake up and to look to you. Hallelujah. It is time to wake up from our slumber. Oh, God. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that the body of Christ may recognize where we are in you. That you need us more in this season to worship and to praise you. Hallelujah. To glorify your name. To bring your mandate. Oh, how to come to pass in this season. Breathe upon your people. Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Take full control now. Lord, we go from this house. I pray you will go with us. Almighty God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We declare your presence will remain with us. We declare your presence will stand by us as we go through this. Take full control now. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Come on, lift your hands and give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands and give the Lord praise. This is a wake up call. This is a wake up call. This is a wake up call. I tell you this story once. This man died, a former co worker of mine. Cursed church, church, grand church, this and church, that. But when he took sick, lie in his bed, my God. And I go and look for him a couple of days before he died. He said, Rabbi boy, if you couldn't just go out of the church out there, sir. Uh, sometimes some persons... My brothers and sisters, don't wait till your hand can go up in the ear. If he said, if hand can go up, I don't want to praise God. I'm not waiting for that. If you can't go up, you just can't go up. But me praise God already. My brothers and sisters, we'll be praying for our brother, Devante. Come. Brothers and sisters, our brother will be traveling overseas. He'll be leaving us for a season. He's young. And as he goes, we are sending him with Jesus. But wherever he goes, he is there. God is there. I know this young man loves the Lord. Amen. He really do loves the Lord. And so as he goes, he will bloom where he's planted. Amen, somebody? That he will bloom where he's planted. Hallelujah. You do miss your son. My brothers and sisters, you got to understand. Amen. When we send them out, 
Sometimes they go to places where there is no worship of God. But I, today we are declaring as the body of Christ that God will make an altar, a place of worship, a place where we can find God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As I lay hands on you, son. And you may not understand now, but I declare and I lay my hands and I pass on from me the spirit of the living God, a prophetic anointing. In your time of struggle, the Holy Spirit will raise up a standard against every powers and every works of the enemy. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, God, we send you here from Lima that the Holy Spirit will raise you up as a mighty man of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. And that the power of God may surround you. That you may bloom. That you may grow from strength to strength. Hallelujah. Both physically, educationally, spiritually, you will grow. We come against sicknesses and diseases. Hallelujah. We curse it from your life. We curse every witches, every warlock spirit. Hallelujah. They oppose you. I don't know where you are going. I don't know your home, your behavior. I know you are going to the Turks and Caicos Island. Hallelujah. I don't know the street, not a, no number, but I know that God is there. I ask that the angel of God may encamp around you with drawn sword of fire. We declare it over your life in Jesus' name. Somebody give Jesus praise. Somebody give Jesus praise. Sing it.
He loves us and all. That's God. He loves us. Wake up, church. Where is Sister Chambers? Sister Chambers, you need to come now. Bring Levante, please come. Praise the Lord. Amen. As a church, my brothers and sisters, we want to make some grants, financial grants for our children. All right? Uh, as a church, we always been taking so we want to give back all right praise the lord and that's what we want to do so one day on behalf of this church church of the prophecy and the children's ministry we want to give you this small token for love and appreciation to you to of your friends well. god bless you god bless you Where are the rest of the children? Why are they still upstairs? All the pet children. Is here? Okay, Omar. All right, this is a token of our love and appreciation, right? Financial. All right, God bless you. Bless you. All right, this is a report talking of the love. All right, from the church. God bless you. Good night. Bless you. Who is here to take the phone? That's it. Time is for Someone is here for her? Sister Ari Blair.
Is that the end, Rob? Okay, Crystal and Pipsa. Somebody from the home come and take it from me. Just hand it to them. Both of them, right? Where is Dad Justin to come? My Michael. Alicia? Mr. Chavel. Justin, Bernard, Scott. Pastor. I don't understand your pastor. Nothing pertaining to girls, even a book, if you don't give to boys. All right? I know, but I'm just telling why I change it. Yeah, there are boys and girl books. But if you're going to buy books, look at the covers. Right, teacher? Hmm? Still streaming? That is what it is. Praise the Lord. Amen? Come on, man. You just want to thank those who, you know, have labored hard, like Sister Chambers and now, Sister from Children's Ministry, they're giving their best, all right? And so, you know, we get some gifts also that we could um, carry up this. Amen? Well, you see, as a church, we always take it. We got to give back, all right? Are you with me? Amen? And that's okay. It's your children. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Before you go, remember Paisley this evening. So I am going to ask who are they to come and just take an offering from me. From Southampton, welcome to church, man. It seems like you're crying. Why are you crying? Huh? You see, Somebody take the offering for me, please, which is for um, the rally. God bless you.
Amen. Praise the Lord. I don't want to pronounce a benediction until I'm finished. Amen. Please stand with me, please. I'm nobody saving grace for Lord and save Jesus Christ. Love of God. The Holy Spirit, the comfort, the rest, men, and the Bible is all born and forevermore. Amen. Amen. God bless you.